Warzone 2.0 has us dropping into the new map of Almazra, but not everything about the map is new. In certain areas you can find little pots of nostalgia in the form of classic maps from the Modern Warfare series. It's a small bit of enjoyment you can get by revisiting your childhood, without the pain that comes with trying to play any of the old games online in 2023. So I've decided to be a gent and point out all the places you can find them and with a tiny bit of backstory in case you're too young to experience the originals first hand. So do me a favour and subscribe for more content like this and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. And without further ado, here are 10 classic COD maps that appear in Warzone 2. Number 10. Terminal. Modern Warfare 2. Terminal is iconic for both its role as a multiplayer map and for its place as the setting of the infamous No Russian mission. It's universally loved by COD fans, so it's nice to see it get another lease of life in Almazra. Any idea where Terminal can be found? No prizes for guessing. Obviously it's in the airport at the southeast of the map. It's quite a popular spot with one of the black site buildings appearing to the south of it. The airport as a whole can be a hot spot if the final circles are close to there. OG Modern Warfare 2 players know Terminal like the back of their hand and would have an advantage over the kids who weren't even born in 2009. Like pretty much every map coming up in this list, this version of Terminal is a lot more open than the original. One glaring difference is the lack of an airplane in the middle. But the rest of the terminal is pretty much as it was, even with Burger Town making a comeback in case you get peckish mid-fight. The airport can be one of the most open areas in Almazra, so taking cover in terminal and duking it out in there would be a smart move for any Warzone player. Number 9. Showdown. COD 4. We come to our first of three COD 4 maps, and it's a very underrated one in my opinion. I remember Showdown being one of the best 1v1 maps in COD 4, obviously just behind shipment. In Almazra, it can be found in the centre of Akdar village. The map is pretty much exactly the same as the original, with the only difference being ladders that you can use to get to the top of the building. I've been in countless gunfights here with there being a boy station in the middle, and I love nothing more than waiting in the shadows like a gremlin for some poor sucker to come along expecting to go on a shopping spree. One notable absentee however is Sparky the Rat. Rumour has it that he lost his gulag and his teammates didn't have enough to buy him back. It is scandalous that he's not here though, but look, I'll happily take Showdown back even if it is an altered version. Number 8. Quarry. Modern Warfare 2. There's a lot of Modern Warfare 2 maps that appeared in Warzone 2, so bear with me. Previously mentioned was Terminal, and now we have another fan favourite in the shape of Quarry. I was always hit or miss with Quarry back in the day, but that was mainly because I was just bad at playing it. Without a doubt, it's one of the most interesting maps in Modern Warfare 2. Playing it now, when I have slightly more skill than I had when I was 13, I see why it's loved by fans. In Almazra, it can be found in the northwest corner of the map, with the area being conveniently named Quarry. It's like a trip down memory lane, with everything being virtually untouched, except someone spilled a bit of water in the area around the crane. Although Quarry was a big map in its own right, this is a larger area that allows multiple teams to faff around beside each other, wondering who's going to make the first push. If you keep the high ground, you can get the jump on the Christmas noobs that just booted up the game for the first time. Or you can go into the middle and take a swim to wash away all the sweat you produced from running Akimbo X 13s. Number 7 Dome Modern Warfare 3. Dome featured in my 10 best maps video, and in that video I mentioned that you could find Dome in the new Warzone map. That place in question is at the observatory in the middle of the map. This is one of the hottest places to drop, so you'd best be ready to pistol whip some fools when you land. Once you're done dispatching those noobs, Dome is there in all of its glory. Sometimes I like to run around the area with a gold veil just to feel as good as it once felt back in the Modern Warfare 3 days. I do this until I'm eventually picked off by someone using a gun that's effective beyond the range of 2 meters. It brings back so many memories, but it is hard to reminisce here as everyone and their granny is lurking about and they want your head on a stick. If some sort of event with zombies comes into Warzone 2, then I want it to be in Dome, so I can experience the thrill of an infected game one more time. I don't even need Akimbo FMGs, I have the x for that. Number 6. Pipeline. COD 4. One of the more obscure sites, and potentially one that people may have missed, is Pipeline. The COD 4 map was solid, and I remember any game that I played on it being a close affair. You can find it in the port area to the west of the map. It's pretty subtle, but once you're there you'll recognise Pipeline straight away. The two warehouses make up the bulk of the map, and there's even boards added in so you can get across from one to the other. In my research for this video, I couldn't find any articles or posts talking about it, so I'm sure it's one of the lesser known ones. Most of the map is there by the underground and grassy area seen in the original. It's not a bad spot to camp out with your team, with plenty of vantage points out looking the surrounding area. The quick transition over the boards makes it fairly versatile for quads where you can camp two in each building, and you're pretty much safe from short range too, because the only ways up are via the ladders. Plant a proxy or a claymore at the top of the ladders, and anyone unfortunate enough to climb them will be blown to smithereens before they even get a sniff at you. Number 5. Afghan. Modern Warfare 2. Afghan seems to be a map that divides COD fans. Personally, I loved it. It was one of my go-to maps for nukes, and I was delighted to see it make a return in al -Mazra. It's found at the cave system to the west of the map. It's not too far from Dome and the observatory. Go to the following marker and you can see Afghan for yourself. There is one glaring exception though, and that's the iconic crashed plane that was in the middle of the original map. 
Apart from that though, everything is pretty much the same. You can see the sniper spot where quickscopers would attempt the leap of fate just to try and get a 360 go viral on YouTube. It's just a shame the mattress you could use to break your fall has been taken away. You can go into the infamous cave where people went to hide from any hardiers or chopper gunners that may be flying around, which forced players to get a nuke the hard way. Even towards the back of the cave you can find the stairs that would normally lead to your death, but this time you have a parachute which you can use to prolong that inevitable death. Number 4. Rust. Modern Warfare 2. One of the best COD maps of all time appears in arguably one of the best Battle Royale maps of all time. Rust is remembered as fondly as your first riot, and rightfully so. I said in my last video that I think Rust is overrated outside of a 1v1 environment, and I stand by that, but seeing the return of a map as iconic as Rust gives me a nice feeling. You can find it in the Rohan oil area to the northwest of the map. Gone is the compact space of the original map, and in its place is a site for you to take cover and scan the area for your next victim. You could even have the Gulag fights here, with the stipulation being that it's quick scopes only. Plus that would give a good reason to bring the intervention back. I swear, Activision should hire me as a creative thinker. You probably won't spend too much time here, as the main building is surrounded by openness, and with Modern Warfare 2's time to kill, you'll be down quicker than a whiskey in the hands of Mel Gibson. I've yet to have a final circle finish around this area, but when it does, I'll be right in my element. Number 3. High Rise. Modern Warfare 2. One of the most popular drop zones in Almazra is one of the most popular maps of all time. In between two skyscrapers in Almazra City is the Modern Warfare 2 map High Rise. Be wary though because dropping here is havoc. You'll almost never get a safe drop and you'll have to show off your pistol skills to survive. This is my go-to spot even if it means going there later in the game. Nothing quite beats repelling up and sniping to my heart's content on top of the skyscraper. Sometimes there's a boy station in the middle, surrounded by conflict, meaning you can relive the glory days all over again, as you desperately try to buy back your mates so we can give you a hand with the five squads around you. You could also take the cowardly way with either inside the two buildings or in the maintenance area of high rise. But where's the fun in that? Although one thing I would change is getting rid of the repel lines and putting the parkour section back in that allowed you to scale the original map. If you get up there without getting beamed, then you deserve to win a game. Number 2. Shipment. COD 4. Shipment has made its grand return to Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, which has fans rejoicing because they finally have a playlist where they can grind out gold camos in the space of a few games. However, Shipment has been in Modern Warfare 2 since the release of Warzone 2. Off to the west of the map, on a boat at the port, not too far from Pipeline, you can find the shipping containers assorted together like Stonehenge. This is another area that could be used as the Gulag. Imagine fencing this off and allowing players who are still alive in the game to watch Gulaggers slug it out for a second chance at life. This is probably the least populated you'll ever find Shipment, and you might actually live longer than 5 seconds. You could even do a tour to COD 4 by going from shipment to pipeline and all the way down to showdown. Or you could stick a message into the game chat asking for a 1v1 on shipment and see if there's any takers. Number 1. Storm. Modern Warfare 2. I completely forgot Storm was a map, probably because it was a DLC map and wasn't played as regularly as the base ones. So when I came across this warehouse to the west of the fortress, I was taken right back as if I had a revelation after suffering from amnesia. This close quarters combat provided a lot of fun, especially when you take into consideration that noob tubers had nowhere to hide and rain down explosions on you like an artillery barrage. The inside of the map is exactly the same as the original, the only difference is the storm is cleared up and we have a nice bright day in Almazra. I swear, if there wasn't so much conflict here, I'd be choosing that as a holiday destination. This area plays exactly like the original map too, hectic close quarters action, so make sure you pack those akimbo X-13s. Overall though, Storm, just like the others in this list, was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. So that was the list. Did I miss out on any that you found while looting your way through Almazra? I would like to say though, I left out Newville because I don't consider it too much of a classic seeing as barely anyone played the original COD multiplayer. But if there is any others, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you liked it, subscribe and give it a thumbs up, and you might even turn on those cheeky notifications. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and call me an Egypt in the comments. That's how you spell it if you need it. Anyway, I have been Lenny, and I'll see you next time.